Is this going on YouTube? Everybody say, hi, YouTube. Yes, I will be putting this on YouTube as long as everything goes well and I don't go on a tirade of some sort. And let's be real. Even if I go on a tirade, I'll put it on YouTube. YouTube loves my tirades. No, oh, guys, guys, I know you're saying hi, YouTube. I'm not showing you to YouTube. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, my God. Look at, e look at everybody saying hi to YouTube. All signed and yes, sick. yes, we're happy. Nah. We're getting it out there. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. I am Jesus. Here is the toast. And we're doing a Ludwig's Holy Blade run with poor man's gems. That means it's going to do lots of damage. This'll be fun. <laughs> Hwa! Hwa! Killed him. No, I didn't. He is still alive. Okay, then. Yo, that's your favorite weapon? This actually isn't one of my favorite weapons in Bloodborne. It's one of my least favorite. But this weapon chunks damage. And I've recently fell in love with poor man's gems for obliterating the game. And I want to see just how much obliteration we can get done with this, with this bad boy. LHB's easy mode, but it's so fun. Yeah, but that's the same. Like, I don't mind people using the weapon. Uh, Saw Cleaver's easy mode. Whirligig Saw's easy mode. But it, it's fun to be OP in game sometimes. What does RTSR mean? Red Tear Stone Ring. It's from Dark Souls. The Red Tear Stone Ring in Souls games would make it so that you get a massive bas uh, damage buff when you are at really low vitality. So the lower your health, the the bigger the buff, essentially. Or or it, it that's actually not how it works. It triggers once you're at a certain uh, threshold, and you get massive damage boost. Also, Zeus is online, so someone should try to invade. Yeah, try to invade the Blood God. Go ahead. It'll work out well for you, I promise. Clever Rat Gang, the OG. LHB and the Saw Cleaver are the two best weapons in Bloodborne Easy. Yeah. The Whirligig Saw is in there too. Those those are that that's the holy triumvirate. Yo, I just got hungry. I should probably eat something. One blueberry. That should hold me over. Oh! Alright. We can't get hit. We cannot get hit. No, that's dangerous! I triggered the fight too early! I'm dead. I was I was I was hoping the charge would uh, would do enough damage there. Cheese King with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in Cheese King. Thank you so much, man. That's a lot of damage. I, I was really hoping that charge would kill him, but yeah, it didn't. So I died instead. Sweet baby Jesus, that weapon chunks. Scooch. Away, away. 
Charge R2 with the follow-up, 75% HP. Do you think it'll be that much? Tonk with the brand new subscription. Welcome in. Thanks for that brand new sub. You love that the LHB allows for two charged R2 combos? I love weapons that have a double R2. Love it. Hey, Warlock Zor. It's going great, man. We're on our second run of Bloodborne today. Not quite 75%, but it did a good amount of damage. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I just want to call myself a badass because I literally just killed the boss before picking up 363 million blood echoes, by the way. with RTSR. On purpose, by the way. More echoes than 90% of Bloodborne players will ever earn. <laughs> Thanks, Tonk. Best barrel roller in the business. Do a barrel roll! Say no to bullying? I disagree. I think people should be bullied. Makes you stronger. If I wasn't bullied, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Thank you, bullies. Builds character. Yeah. People not bullying anymore is why we have people acting like children in the Monster Hunter community. They weren't bullied, so they act like idiots. We're going to be making Monster Hunter community jokes for the next year, by the way. A year of this. Healthy bullying encourages encourages introspection. Okay, we gotta we gotta pay attention here. Run! He's trying to kill me. Okay. Oh, what's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me it's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> Top. Here's to the year of Monster Hunter jokes. Thanks for the hundred bits, dude. I was going for that double backstab, or the double charged R2, but I bonked, so it canceled.
You love the Gascoigne song? There's really not any song in Bloodborne that I don't love. Papa G deleted. I do want to try. I, I said this. I said this the last time I did a uh, poor man's run. I do want to try, maybe to do an all bosses run, no hits, max new game, with poor man's gems, just for fun. Is Mitch ba what it what it what did this guy say to get my condescending ass mod all riled up? What did he say, guys? Mitch is out of control again. I'm sorry. You were typing a long reply to this dude. I'm sorry, Matt. Mitch is just banning people, timing them out. It's he doesn't even let us respond. He does, he's like too good of a mod. It's so st ugh. I'm getting tired of this guy. He deserved it. 99.9% .9 of the people Mitch times out deserve it. And then the other the other 0.01% that don't deserve it, well, they just got to take it anyway. <laughs> I think I think literally in like over a year of Mitch modding, there's been like three people or three times that I've said like, nah, that's not worth it. <laughs> Dodgy Brummy, how's it going, dude? Which is why I must stop you. Three out of seven million eight hundred thirty-three thousand five hundred ninety-three. Where can I find poor man's gems? Go to bloodborne-wiki.com and that wiki has all the information you need to, uh, to get the best gem setups for whatever weapon you're looking for. And it'll actually give you a choice between real Chalice Dungeon Glyphs and save edited Chalice Dungeon Glyphs depending on what you want to use. Wait, is Ludwig's Holy Blade the big sword, or is the Guiding Moonlight one the one uses? Well, I mean, they they both have the same shape, but this is the one without Moonlight. This is Ludwig's Holy Blade. The Moonlight Sword is the one with all the arcane attacks. Even in those cases, all the guy had to do was not chat for 10 minutes. That's it. I didn't key his car. Steal. Yeah, people act like it's like the biggest thing in the world. You inhibited my ability to type in a Twitch stream for 10 minutes? You're a horrible human being. People are crazy. Oh, dude, dude, we got we got to start this again. <laughs> I got the hiccups. God damn it. Help. Wait! 
Wait. I didn't mean to hit that button. Okay, we're back. I'm doing a great job streaming today. So about this run going on YouTube. Run. All right, let's go. What? Booty thrust. Thrust to bust. Booty thrust. Ah, oh, I missed it. Booty thrust, thrust to bust. <laughs> Casual R one for seventeen hundo. This weapon's sick. The RTSR in this game's insane. Well, RTSR in pretty much every game's insane. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know what like Dark Souls Three RTSR is like. I've never used it. Is it true that the Winter Lanterns are actually the doll? They're nightmarish versions of the doll's body. That's for sure. Wear the same clothes. Have the same pendants. It's not as good in DS3, only 20%. I get you. There's two RTSR items in DS3? What what are the two? The Moron Blade. Is that a weapon from Monster Hunter Rise? Oh, the Morian Blade from DS3. The Moron Blade from Rise. I get you. Okay. It's the new 15th weapon. A serious question. Did Monster Hunter Rise have a new weapon? No, it did not. Really? Really? No new weapon. New game, no new weapon. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. My favorite thing about uh, all the Souls games is that how there's like, there's, there's, there's so many new weapons in, in most of them. And new bosses and stuff.
I'm dead. I was I was just dumb. I was just dumb. I was like, this is gonna stagger her. It's definitely gonna stagger her. No, it didn't stagger her. I can't deplete all of my HP. Greedy, that was greed. That was pure greed. Yeah, I'm dead she on RTSR the I'm dead shield is actually uh it, it doesn't really work. <laughs> if I do a a no hit run with RTSR, which weapon do you think I should use? I'm thinking about using the Whirligig saw, honestly. I'm thinking about the Whirligig Saw. That's a lot of damage? No. Nah, this, this is a completely normal amount of damage. Nothing crazy here. This is 30 FPS, right? If you can't tell, does it matter? You could tell, that's why you asked? I don't believe you. If you could tell, you didn't need to ask, because you knew. Hmm? Hmm? The correct word is suspected, naked lunch. Only someone who reads a book like Naked Lunch would know that. <laughs> yeah, this is on the PS5. I'm here from watching your YouTube videos. Can you tell about your stream and what kind of speed run you're doing right now? Oh, I'm not doing a speed run. We're just playing through the game. We're going to go through all the bosses in the main game and the DLC. And we're going to fight each boss with a red tear stone ring setup, which in Bloodborne is utilized with something called poor man's gems, which means that at low HP, I do massive extra damage. So you're going to see me just blitz through bosses, but there is an effect. I cannot get hit once, for the most part. If I get hit, I'm most likely going to die. Dan Kelly with the two-month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thanks so much, Dan Kelly. It's a glass cannon build? Exactly.
Shadows of Yarnum will be a little hard without getting hit. I'm known for basically killing Shadows of Yarnum every single time I face them without getting hit. So it should be pretty, pretty easy for the likes of me. Yes, hello. I'm from Hollywood Far Again Press. Could you tell us a little about your stream and what you're doing? Not to mention the first ever no no hit run thing. Hmm. No, my, my first no hit run didn't count, man. I had a crash. I had a crash. Okay, guys. A, a, a little uh, tr trip down the history books. For those of you who don't know. When I was doing the, the, the world's first no hit run in Bloodborne, a bunch of other streamers were doing it. All the no hit guys... Uh, my boy K. Witty, a bunch of speedrunners were trying to get the world's first Bloodborne no-hit run. It was mostly a big, friendly competition uh, between most of us. There were, however, a few people in the community that said things like, I want to get the world's first no-hit run just to wipe the smile off of those those idiot no-hit runners' faces. That's a, that's a direct quote to one of the, uh, the speedrunners. Who is trying to get the no-hit run. That's a direct quote. We beat him, by the way. We beat him. He failed. I won. But when I got the run... When I got the run... These people, they tried to claim... That I changed the rules... And I was cheating... And I didn't really get the run... Because my game crashed... During the run. It crashed. The, ga the game crashed, and they said, oh, that's like a quit out. That's cheating. That's against the rules. Even though me and all the other no-hit runners talked about if, if a crash happened, no, you just restart the game. It's fine. You just, you, just, you just restart the game. That's out of your control. You believe that? Dude, okay, dude, that was insane. That was so ridiculous. Bro, I, I had to dodge the one guy on the left, the fireball on the right, and the other guy just running at me. D Jesus, man. Black Raven with the 18-month resubscription. Thanks so much. Scroxer with the three-month Twitch Prime. Dan Kelly with the two-month Twitch Prime. Thank you all. Told you you jinxed it. I'm highly susceptible to jinxes, poxes, all manners of malarkey and shenanigans. Highly susceptible. You'd like to see an RTSR type buff that is more effective the lower your health is? So at 1 HP it'd be more effective than at 50 HP, right? I mean, I like the idea, and I thought of that myself, but the truth is that, like, pretty much anything's going to kill you in one hit anyway, aside from, like, just a, like, a stagger kind of thing. K 
Cow Cow with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Thanks so much, Cow Cow. You know, I should probably get the uh, the echoes first. They try to do it again. Indie Pro Star with the 14 month resubscription. Sir Lepi with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in, guys. Thank you so much. Do you plan on doing speedruns again? Uh, maybe for, like, I was thinking about, like, trying it for, like, maybe a week or something. Just, just for fun. Mainly just to see if I can get, like, the speedrunning crew in here to tell me how trash I am at the game. And then I'll do, like, you know, I'll, I'll compare my view count to theirs and I'll make them feel bad and it'll be fun. <laughs> Perfect entertainment. <laughs> I'd enjoy watching you speedrun on stream. It'd be nostalgic. What about some more Neo 2? I do kind of want to play some more Neo 2. I kind of stopped playing Neo because people seem like like disinterested in it completely, man. Almost got walloped there. <sighs> now that was cool. <laughs> that felt good.
That was even faster than a speed run, man. <laughs> Job wrecked. <laughs> World record ROM. Put it on speed souls. <laughs> What kind of games are you playing offline these days? I don't really play too many games offline, man. If I do, it's like a game or two of DBD or pinball. That's really all I play. Is this being recorded on PS4 or PS5? No, I have a capture card in my PC uh, that does the recording, but it's the the footage is coming from the PS5. Did you say pinball resident sleeper? Pinball is awesome. What are you talking about? Is there an advantage to playing on PS5? Yes, you get a much smoother 30, 30 FPS on the PS5. It's so much better than the PS4 Pro. Flashy stuff you can drink. It's called water. Just nice reminder. Thanks. The transformation attack of this weapon, it, it takes like 78 seconds. I tried doing a, a fancy R1L1, but in, in the span of me doing one L1 attack, that guy literally did three. Three R1s. So we'll just hit him with the R1, R1, R1. Dunk. Cartophily with the three month Twitch Prime resubscription. Thank you so much, dude. Have you ever played the Medieval Madness pinball table? No, I've really only played like a few pinball tables, man. Two meme runs in one stream, we hit a gold mine. Nice, nice. <laughs> I 
World record! <laughs> you earned that fruit. <laughs> Got to be very careful here. I like this game. This game is really fun. I should I should do no no hit runs more often. They're really easy. <laughs> that R2 damage was Monka as Wait a minute, do you have 366 million blood echoes? Yes, I do. We are jacked. <laughs> it's like people don't even read things you put in chat. Bro, everybody has you muted. You're too condescending. I don't want to talk to you. Do you think you can hit one hit phase one Mikalash? No. I don't think it'll do that much damage to him. No way. I'd be very surprised. You can't even kill Cleric Beast? Keep at it, man. It's a, it's a tough, tough game, dude. Just don't give up. Try to, try to learn one of his attacks. And then once you can dodge and counterattack that attack repeatedly, learn another attack. And then learn another one. And then learn another one. Approach it piecemeal. One attack at a time.
I almost got poison there. Right on the brink. No roll. Weapon at risk! How am I supposed to pummel her crotch with a broken weapon? I found a way. <laughs> crotch shot after crotch shot. Oh, I didn't repair. Damn it. How many hours do you have in this game? Uh, oh, well over 6,000 at this point. Pretty sure you have enough rocks to level up the lost and uncanny weapons. I do. I do. Do you like Zelda Link to the Past? I have a lot of nostalgia for uh, Zelda games, yeah. I don't really like playing them anymore, but yeah, I do, I do have a lot of nostalgia for those games. Two hundred fifty plus days. I haven't even spent a year in the nightmare. Really? I feel. I feel. I feel like I should have. I spent more time than than that playing Bloodborne. I guess maybe not. Did you already stream before Bloodborne came out? No, actually. My very first stream was Bloodborne. I I didn't even know about Twitch when uh, Bloodborne came out. This is easier than Monster Hunter Rise? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the, f the first five hours of Monster Hunter Rise are like baby... baby animals. That a four-year-old could be. Does it ever get boring, Zeus? Yes. But I don't I typically don't play it when I get bored. I play something else. I'll play DBD, I'll play I'll play a Dark Souls 3, I'll play uh I'll play some idiot game. Do you have any Bloodborne merchandise? Not like Bloodborne specific, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work on some things. I, I want to get some like Bloodborne shirts in the store. You said DBD already. No need to say some idiot game as well. <laughs> 
Infal with the brand new Twitch Prime subscription. Welcome in, Infal. Love you some Dark Souls 3. Yeah, we just had an awesome playthrough of DS3. Took us like a day and a half, but it was uh, it was really fun. Nope, never read Berserk, but I do know of its inspiration for Dark Souls. Did you play Sekiro? I played Sekiro many times. We started Sekiro yesterday, but my computer broke and stopped me from playing it. I will uh -huh. be playing it either this week or next week. I'll try it again. Hello from Japan. You're my idol and my inspiration in Bloodborne. How's it going, dude? Watching all the way from Japan. That's crazy. DVD and some idiot game. Whoops, tautology. Lol. Three. Three hits. Majestic! No problem, man. Thanks for watching. What a setup. Look at that RTSR setup, boys. Crazy, man. Thanks for the good time. See you tomorrow. Have a good one, dude. Why do you reduce your HP before fighting each boss? Because that's the, the gems that I have on my weapon right now only give me extra damage when I'm at low HP. So I'm reducing my HP to get the buff. I missed it.
Sometimes I forget that you're a beard. Serenade me, Winter Lanterns. Wow, they really hit me. Okay. Unable to acquire more Great Ones Wisdom? Screw that. Any depths this run? We've died a couple times. Can someone send me a link for accessing the defiled chalice? Have you accessed it yourself first? Because you got you got to go into it yourself. You can't go into a glyph first. If that's what you're asking for, but I might not have uh, seen the conversation. WTF that dodge, just blood god things. You have hard time against Ludwig, do you have any tips for me? Uh, go into Ludwig and take off your weapon, okay? Take it off. Don't use any blood vials, don't use any buffs. Just dodge his attacks. Just dodge his attacks. Once you can survive about two, three minutes of just dodging his attacks, dodge him, and then hit him with your fist. Counterattack, dodge and counterattack. Once you can survive two to three minutes of dodging and counterattacking, switch to your weapon. Rinse and repeat when you get to phase two. You feel like that's sound advice for most boss fights? It absolutely is. No hit on the Mensa's brain. I'm so good, right? Nobody can compete with the Blood God. Why is it my on-screen comments are repeated two times? Twitch is just broken, man. Try refreshing the page or restarting your browser. This is fantastic advice. I did against Soul, Soul of Cinder on Soul Level 1, and it ended up only taking about 20 attempts. Nice, man. Yeah, I got, str I got strats for strats, dude. If you, if you guys need help with, uh, with, with uh, strats and, and third-person action games, I'm, I'm usually able to help. You'd say Bloodborne's a Souls game? No, it's it's not a Souls game. It's called a Hollow Knight like. You gotta get that right, man. It's a Hollow Knight like. I, I don't understand all these people calling Bloodborne a Souls game recently. It, it makes no sense to me. They're completely different. You can't even compare them. This game is more like Hollow Knight than any other game ever made. That's I don't get Souls fans, dude.
Psycho Leland with the 15 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Psycho. Hold on. Hold on. Every From Software game goes to New Game Plus 7, dude. Wednesday Adams, are you willing to admit that you're wrong? Because today is the day that you need to admit that you're wrong. Because no, that is not true, my dude. Bloodborne goes up to New Game Plus 6. Thanks for the explanation. I also refer to Bloodborne as a Souls game, but it'll be because I'm a rookie. <laughs> it's a Souls game, man. If you, if you didn't catch on, I was joking. It is definitely a Souls game. Look at how, look at how many rocks I've got. Look at all my rocks. Do you stay in New Game Plus 6 after you beat it there? You can go into another new game, but the damage doesn't scale anymore. It stops scaling after New Game 6. So you can you can play new game a thousand, but it's still technically new game plus six because nothing has changed. I had only just got used to Bloodborne not being a Souls game, and now I'm all confused. <laughs> Bloodborne is like God of War. But it's actually good. <laughs> Do you think Elden Ring will take over Bloodborne? No. There, I, I don't feel like there's any way Blood, uh, Elden Ring will be a better game than Bloodborne. But with that said, I'm still expecting Elden Ring to be a great game. I just, I don't know if it's possible to even top Bloodborne at this point. Hopefully it happens one day. But I, I have I have no expectations. No, I've Edge, I was actually talking about the speedruns so far. I want I wanna try I wanna try poor man's speedruns and I also wanna try a poor man's uh, no hit run as well. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I think Elden Ring will come out like March of next year, guys. That's that's when I think it'll come out. That's that's been their usual timeline, but it could change. It it might not be that year because like COVID happened. So it might it might be a little bit longer. But if everything's gone according to plan, it would be next year. Are you going to be playing RE8? Probably not. I'm just really not into Resident Evil games. I, I've, I've spent nearly two decades trying to like Resident Evil games, and I, just, I realized literally this year that I just don't like them. I, I like the idea behind them, 
I just don't like the general application. The actual gameplay. I don't think... I've, I feel like there's way too many stupid puzzles. I feel like I'm never really scared, and the games just ultimately become shooters. And they're just not for me. Did I just heal again? God damn it. Ooh. Oh! Oh god! Oh god! I killed him before the visceral. <laughs> I, I I killed him before the visceral. <laughs> the game the game couldn't do quick enough math for me. The blood god is quicker than the math in Bloodborne, literally. That's that's great. Zeus is greater than math. Greater than optics and math. It should be illegal. This should be illegal. You shouldn't be allowed to do this. I don't think you're actually as good at BB as some people say. It's all optics and math the whole way down. Kappa Kappa, love you, man. I just threw my belly button lint at you. Is it gone? Goddamn cream cheese. What bosses do we have left? Go to the Forbidden Woods. Yeah, we got to go to Witch of Hemwick and Kanehurst, and then we will go to the DLC. When will we have a Moonlight Sword run? I just did one, man. I just did one pretty recently. Hey, IR, how's it going, dude? Doink. Ticket 
for the school bus. Thanks for the ticket, Angry Chef. Is it on YouTube? It should be. Who knows? I might not have put it up, though. Did the beard take control of your body since childhood? No, actually, it didn't. Now, the beard, the beard only attached to this human host a few years ago. Long-time YouTube watcher, first-time Twitch watch, but Moonlight's on the tubes, thanks. Here is for my ticket. Thanks for the ticket. How old is Zeus? 5,005. I might have to dip before the ride, but here's a ticket just in case. I finally get to ride. Can you do a stream where you forget how to play the game and just play it for three months? No. <laughs> you want me to do a three month long stream where I pretend that I don't know how to play the game and I'm just playing it like the first time? No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Will I ever do a blindfold run again? No, way too much work. Clean the stash. Is there something on the stash again? No, we're fine. I need to stop eating cream cheese. Plain bagels from here on out. A ticket for a poor fool that can't afford one. <laughs> Thanks for the the freeloading ticket. Ticket for, you know. We're not even going there yet. AKA Rex. With a KO Ken times five gifted subscription hitting me with a sub cannon straight to the solar plexus. You goddamn legend. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, man. What am I doing? Where am I going? Oh, Witch of Hemwick, right? Witch of Hemwick. How long did it take you to complete this? Your very first time you played? Bloodborne? 27 hours. I remember it specifically. I accidentally sacrificed myself to Garman, not realizing that it would end the game. 27 hours. I beat the game with a plus six to nitrous. Parl was the hardest boss for me on my first playthrough. I missed pretty much everything. It took a month for you to complete the game? Yeah, it only took me a few days. But you have to remember, you know, I've, I spent 
like a couple thousand hours playing Demon Souls, another thousand or two playing Dark Souls, another seven, eight, nine hundred playing DS2, and then I played Bloodborne. So. The only bosses that, like, made me s stuck were, like, Orphan of Kaz, Lawrence, some extra stuff. Defiled Amygdala, and the Chalices. That I remember, anyway. Thanks for the 169 bits, Red Mist. Gotta go, man. Enjoy and it'll watch the rest when it goes up on YouTube. Thank See you, you later, man. Thanks for the hundred. Bloodstarved Beast and Ebrietas. You know, Ebrietas, uh, I didn't, I, on my second playthrough, I found her. She was tough. She was pretty tough. She was one of the more tough ones. Can't kill Ebrietis in New Game Plus 6 to this day. Well, it seems like you have something you need to get to do it to do Seems like you have something to do. Ay! Oh no! That was unpleasant with my bigger sound system. <laughs> You've got mail. Flawless victory. Sergeant Pink Drink with the nine month race subscription. Enjoy your brand new slug baby. Slime it every day. All right, now is the time for tickets. Wait, did like 50 people really just leave because of my dial up sound? I just noticed that. God damn it. <laughs> Tickets! Tickets to get cable internet! Ticket. Mm -hmm. 
next thing that you know you see it. Yeah. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap that you'll be testing. Pick your second right back mark on the magic school bus. Alligator, I'm on the magic school bus. Waiting for me to check the public. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your ride. On the magic school bus today. Skoro with the ticket. Tear gas with the 15 tickets. Dwayne at sundown. High please hydrate. Steve Hot Prowl, Mac and Chassis, Ninka Crinkles, Vincent, Lobster, Tubsies. Two Frogs, one teacup with a brand new gifted subscription. Captain Coley, Buzzo, Zip Zipskins, Seeker of Stars, Bobble with the four tickets, Father McGraw with the 696 cents, Bajorne with the 100 bits, James Knott, Red Miss Ba, Rick's Labs, Diane Bryan, Luco Truco, Doe Bidley, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm reading out the people who paid for tickets, and I don't want to see your nonsense, nobody, no money name here, because you didn't pay for a ticket here yourself, you numbskull. What is wrong with you? Rick's Labs, thanks for the ticket. Luco Truco with the ticket. And is that it? No. Xavier Dude with the ticket oh. as well. Skoro with the brand new gifted subscription. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. That was a good value yell. Yoink. So much better live than on YouTube. On the bus ride, but my browser crashed. All you guys that watch me on YouTube and then come over, I can't thank you enough. It's awesome to see you here. Those of you that can't, because you're working, because you live in a different time zone, I appreciate you watching the YouTube too. See, YouTube's nice sometimes. Bro, I... Yeah, I never... Okay, let me put it this way. I didn't want to even engage in YouTube for years. Because so many people... You know, there's the meme. Like, you don't read YouTube comments, right? But, quite frankly, my experience on YouTube has been total opposite. To the point where... I tell people to start, uh, I tell streamers to start their YouTubes, even if it works, even if it doesn't work. Don't, don't, don't let something like other people telling you, ah, this is, this is so-and-so way, you shouldn't do it. Nah, don't listen to other people. Because I've had, I've had basically nothing but positivity from YouTube. Yeah, there's a, there's an idiot comment every now and then. But compared to all the positive stuff, it's, it's night and day. I'm watching this on YouTube right now. You shut up. <laughs> I watched you on YouPorn, then found your Twitch.
This is just broken. Hey, I gave him a rough pounding. I got what I wanted out of the, uh, the situation. Visitor. I claim no subject. You have a positive experience on YT because you're a positive person, just awesome oh, blood. Sir, this is God things. If only our life was so easily forfeit. I love when the queen goes down on me. Seeker of stars, thanks so much for the hundred bits, man. Thank you so much. Guyism Bergelius with the six month Twitch Prime. Keep it going, man. I'm not stopping anytime soon. Don't stop, I'm almost done! I'm almost done! How dare you stop? Oh, there we go, okay. Now I'm done. There, now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. I'm generous. You do me, I do you. Happy now? Finished. I'm actually crying. This is so fun. You haven't seen that, Vince? I'm glad I showed it off then. So this is how sex works. Yo... Silent Storm with the $5 sacrifice. And the $10 sacrifice that I missed before. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, I'm sending another tip because I think you missed my last I did. But this is for your great stream too. Thank you so much, man. The uh, the donations are on a different menu and I didn't look with all the the hullabaloo going on. I'm sorry I missed that, but thanks for the 15 bucks, man. All right, DLC time. You haven't? You must have missed it before. Even the bugs in this game are awesome. That, it, that's so true. It, this game is... It, ah. Even the stuff that is just completely unintended is just perfect. Yeah. No, I never played Code Vein, man. It just... I just... I've I've never once... Like, it seems okay, but I, I've just never watched anybody play it, or I've just never really gotten the urge to play it. I've said, like, maybe I'm gonna play it for, like, years now, but it just... it just hasn't happened. I don't know if it's ever gonna happen, honestly. That video of, of Moon Presence falling off the arena that you reacted to was the best. I'm glad you guys liked that. That was a that was a fun video. Are we playing any Sekiro today, Beard Lord? No, it's not gonna be today. I need to take a couple break a couple days off of it, man. I just got really mad yesterday, and I I don't want to force myself to play something. But I will be playing it soon. Sorry for the debate, but I really wasn't intending for my uh, PC to just blow up that day.
What did you miss with Sekido? It just, I, after two hours, it stopped running well on my computer. And it took a while. To, I, I restarted the stream like three or four times. And, and by the time we got it working again, it was just, I just didn't want to play anything anymore. You love your job, dude? That's a gift? Hmm. Is it a gift or is it something that I worked for? I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're saying. I, I used to have, like, a really good job, you know, that I made good money in and I was good at, but I didn't like it. So I switched. I think you're a cool guy, and that's the greatest gift of all. Well, you're just too nice to me. Watching pinball yesterday was actually pretty fun. Yeah, I will do more pinball at some point. I like pinball. That kind of reminds me of people saying I'm gifted at my job. Like, no, I, I worked my ass off to be good at it. Yeah, the, it kind of the same thing, right? It, it's it's like when people say I'm I'm, and it, it's like just semantics, right? So no big deal, right? We're just talking here. But when people say that, oh, I'm lucky. I, I disagree with that. I'll, I'll when when when. When streamers say that the only reason that they're popular is because they got lucky, it grinds my gears. Because I don't feel that way at all. I, I feel like I've, I've worked, I've made mistakes, I've adapted, I've improved, I've constantly tried to get better and better and better. I don't stop, I don't give up. I don't feel like that's luck. I don't, I don't feel like there's, there's an element of luck at all, quite frankly. The worst is when an artist is called talented when they've been practicing for like 15 years. So apply that same thing to streamers, right? Apply that same thing, you know? It's a lot of effort that goes into it. Music up, you're not gonna even be able to hear it, dude. This guy's gonna die in like 12 seconds. I didn't even get hit by the uh, the AOE blast. Even I framed that nonsense.
this whole Monster Hunter elitist thing has made me never want to touch those games, and by extension, their community. <laughs> that's that's the that's the best thing about it, dude. Being able to like get people to not play Monster Hunter just because of those idiots. Ah, that's just the icing on the cake. What happened to Monster Hunter? You gotta check my Twitter, man. I played Monster Hunter. Here, here's the rundown. I played Monster Hunter Rise when it first came out for about five, six hours. I didn't like a lot of that game. Compared to World, I thought it was a letdown. I didn't like the music. I didn't like the dialogue. I didn't like, um, I didn't like the reskinned enemies. I didn't like the level design. The graphics were so inferior. There are so many things about the game that I just did not like. And then I got to the point where I got into like rank three or four or whatever it is, I forget. It was a new rank and I fought like the last monster on the list instead of the first monster. And I noticed that my starting gear wasn't going to be enough. And I was actually kind of like mad because I just wasn't having fun with the game and now and now I hit the point in the game where I was I was just going to have to like grind for new gear, kill some enemy over and over and over again until I get the new gear and then I can go back with with good damage. And I realized this and I just died. Like I I basically was just standing still. I died on purpose for entertainment. And then I went into a rage of criticizing the game. I quit the game, and I never wanted to play it again. And it was fun for everybody. You've seen me go on tirades before, I'm sure. So then, after that, I posted on Twitter. Oh, hold on. I posted on Twitter basically all the things that I just said. I didn't like the game. For these reasons. And then all these Monster Hunter nerds started, like, coming at me. Because the real reason that I didn't like the game was because I was bad at it. Because they all saw a clip of me dying to that boss on purpose. On purpose. And even if it wasn't on purpose, what would it matter? What, what does the uh, me liking the music have to do with my ability in the game? And they just, they just tried, like, harassing me on Twitter, but didn't get anywhere. And I just doubled down and uh, tried instigating them and make them super, super, super mad. And it worked. So there's a whole bunch of, like, Monster Hunter memes about me now. Zeus is a true salt farmer. That's great, dude. I, I love my ability to generate memes and to make people mad. It's great. And it's like, the, the real funny thing is, is that, you know, they think that they're smart, but they don't know my channel. They don't know what I'm doing. And nor should they. Like, if you don't, if you don't watch my stream, you know, it's going to be hard for you to pick up on exactly what's going on here. I get that. But they just all acted like children, basically, and I got a huge kick out of it.
Do it! Damn it! How is that not a parry, dude? Whatever. I don't know how that's not a parry. That was perfect. Okay, just gotta iframe, um... Just gotta iframe some hits at the end of that fight there. Never understood elitism culture of game communities. And dude, even if, okay, even if it's true, right? Okay, they don't know my channel, right? They don't know that I, I actually am heavily sarcastic. I trash things all the time. I rage quit. I, 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 I'm a hypocrite. Like, they, they don't understand my channel. That's fine. That's, that's totally fine. But one thing that is also a part of this community is this hatred of elitism, like you said. I, I have seen so many people act like, act like absolute idiots because they think that they're good at a game, a video game, and I despise that. I despise it so much. The, the, me being better than all of you combined at Bloodborne means absolutely nothing to my value as a human being, hosted by the beard, of course, or anything. It, it means nothing. It's meaningless. But some people have absolutely nothing going on in their lives except for their ability to play a video game, and they act like they have this great, great ego that is more important than being cordial or nice or understanding or, or even trying to get someone into the game that you like. It makes absolutely no sense. So again, on one hand, I get the reaction, but on the other hand, my channel is all about highlighting that reaction and making fun of it. <laughs> because I've experienced firsthand and personally what gaming elitism does to people. And I don't care if you're a world record holder, I don't care if you're the best in a video game, I'm the best Bloodborne player. But you know what? I don't act like an idiot. I don't, I don't try to come down someone's throat because, because I'm better than them at a video game. It, now, with that said, if you come at me, I will, I will absolutely you know, use certain things or say certain things to egg you on drive you there's a few times in my strip like i will if you're like a a, uh, a twitch streamer right and you attack me i will totally go to view count you know to make you feel bad about yourself you know i'm just i don't do that normally but if you attack me i will come at you avenge sevenfold i will i will hit you seven times harder than you hit me it's just how i work it's how i operate but i won't do that from a base level and I know my place. I would never I would never think to go into like a larger streamer's channel and act like how some of those people act. It's just not me. But I will make fun of it. Absolutely. An eye for seven eyes. <laughs> That's what it is, man. It's biblical. Your kind words down to earth and ability to roast is just wondrous. <laughs> Thanks, man. You don't have to like what I like, honestly. Yeah, dude. Like that's 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 the other thing. Like you're getting that upset about a video game. Mm. Mm. You were having fun with them? Exactly, Dwayne. It's, it's, it became a source of entertainment for everybody.
Used to be that way too into some games. He would trash talk people who didn't like them. These days I just try to find what they don't like about the game and either help them see around it or help them get into more more into the world. See, that that's the appropriate way of doing it, man. And it's just a fact of life. Not everybody is going to like everything, you know? So you can't please everybody. People are just into different things. My, my reaction to the Monster Hunter community is less about what they were saying versus how they were saying it and the reasoning behind what they were what they were doing bye chat gotta work see you later see you later sorry we had story time and i forgot uh i forgot exactly what i was doing here same thing with anime people try Try to put their heart out on anime, then cry when you don't like it. Yeah, man. And, like, I'm kind of, like, I'm one of the people that doesn't really like anime too much. But there's some anime that I think is absolutely awesome. And quite frankly, if we're talking about honest opinions here, I think 99% of anime is garbage. That does... But, like I said, there's some anime that's really, really, really good. Really, really good. Just like my Monster Hunter criticism. I think some things in this game, for me, are terrible. I think some things were really good in it. The things that were really good didn't overweigh the, the things that I thought were bad, and that's why I don't want to play the game anymore. The world's not black and white. We're all shades of gray. Except Bloodborne. Bloodborne's red. Oh no, she ruined my nice insight. Ah, what a wench. You're not a huge anime fan. You've only ever watched one anime, Death Note, and my friends trash on me telling me I watched a normie show. I need to watch a bunch of slice of life nonsense. Yeah, see, that's that's exactly what we're talking about, man. It's uh you know, people gatekeep and they think that, you know, you should like things because they like them. And you know, I mean, so the, the reason behind some people not liking things could just be a purely emotional reaction. And just because it's not, it's, it's just emotional or not based in logic doesn't mean it's not true or not right from their perspective. I mean, look at it this way. I love baseball. Tons of people say baseball's boring. They don't like watching it. Is that... I, would, I love watching baseball. I watch I watched the Mets game twice. The, the twice. The first day. They lost. They lost. I watched the game twice. You know, is that is that criticism or is that just taste? It's just taste. Happy Wednesday, Zeus. Hope your day is going better than it was yesterday. Oh, it is. Our, our computer hasn't exploded or anything. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. 
No, Zeus, you're not allowed to like baseball because I don't like it. I'm gonna permanently ban you, Dwayne. You freaking moron! You like baseball? Guess I won't be watching your stream anymore. There it goes. Free yelling? I gotta stop. I'm yelling at you guys for free now. This is get it. The Monster Hunter nerds are, are actually giving you guys free yells. Because I have so much pent up rage that I'm just unloading it onto you guys for free. This is actually affecting my business model. More blood. Different strokes for different folks. But humans are too moronic to understand that. <laughs> it's true, humans are dumb. People watch other sports that other people find bo uh, boring. Golf, soccer. I mean, baseball, golf, amazing sports. But soccer, dude, guys, if you, li if you like watching soccer, you're basically a trash human being. I mean, let's be real. Like, soccer is just, it's, it's, it, what's that, like, European, South, South American. Oh, my God. It's just, you're just, you're dumb if you like watching soccer, right? Like, <laughs> but see, okay. See, like, you guys are laughing, right? But the I say the same stuff about Monster Hunter, and people don't realize it, it's a freaking joke. Like, they don't get it. Like, who cares, man? Who cares? But yeah, soccer definitely is trash. I'm pressing the wrong button. Duff Punch Strong with a 14 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Duff. That's karma for hating soccer. Ludwig is trash. No, he's not. Ludwig's like one of the best bosses in the game. What are you talking about?
There we go. What is that? Oh. <laughs> I thought I thought I, f I discovered like some new secret item or something. Yo, Sisrek with the 16 month resubscription. Thanks so much, Sisrek. Duff Punch Strong, thanks for the 14 months. Okay, so the, the transfer I can't do that strat. The tra the transforming attack is way too slow. That's that's okay. That's okay, we learned. Dead stock brain with the brand new subscription. Welcome in Dead Stock Brain. Thanks so much, dude. Ooh. He's crazy. I gotta jump there. I gotta jump there. Really? I. Uh, I don't know. I'd. I don't know if I felt like I was walking. I really. It might have just been like one frame. I. I don't know. I felt like I was walking there, but whatever. actually trying to murder me. <laughs> Imagine losing 38 million. Bro, I have 381 million. That ain't no 38.
I, I got to quit out there. For some reason, my touchpad wasn't working. So we'll just quit out instead because it might just take me to new game if I just let it run. Erica So with the three-month resubscription. Thanks so much, Erica. Only a small difference between 38 mil and 380. What does it feel like in its face anus? <laughs> Twitch chat never change. Never change. Orphan's becoming your favorite boss now because it's the one fight that gets me pumped. You know why Orphan's Orphan became my favorite boss? Like, he was my favorite boss, but what solidified him being my favorite boss? Watching, watching speedrunners die constantly to him. Over and over and over again. Ah. So good. There's, there's nothing like watching a speedrunner be like, Oh, I'm four minutes ahead. I'm going to beat Zeus's time. Orphan of Kaz. Yo! 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 No! I didn't beat Zeus's time! <laughs> oh, so good. Dude, I got years of that. Years of that. One of my favorite videos, I don't mention names, right? But one of the speedrunners that hates me and like, I actually, this, this dude, I never like said anything to him. Like I had problems with other people. I never had any problems with him, but he banned me in his channel, right? And then he started just like trash talking me like every day. And like one time I, I went into his channel and it was like perfect timing. I went into his channel right as he got a PR Two and a half years after I had, uh, <laughs> after I had retired from speedrunning. And he was so happy that he beat my time. I felt great for him, honestly. It took this dude two and a half years past when I retired. Keep in mind, keep in mind, he was speedrunning the, like, basically, like, the entire time I was playing the game, too. And he was just so happy, man. But I got a huge kick out of that. Speedrunner tears keep Zeus's young. You ever watch Sekido, man? Those divine dragon tears? Where do you think they got that idea from? I feel like I'm not going to need blood vials. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let them be happy, exactly. <laughs> you hate watching Sekiro speedruns? It's just 20 minutes of glitching through the game? I talked about this yesterday. I, I sped run Sekiro for a few weeks and then never sped run it again for the exact same reason. Use those souls, please. Nah, I'm good.
I told you I didn't need blood vials. You didn't believe me. Ah. Sweet child of Kos. Returned to the ocean. A bottomless curse. A bottomless sea. Accepting of all that there is and can be. Hiyotaka Miyazaki 69? What are you doing here? I'm eating a bagel! I beat your game! You suck! I need a swallow! I ju just swallowed your mom's vagina. Was that good yelling? Hole. <laughs> oh. Yes, hole. The rare swear? Bro, vagina's not a swear word. <laughs> this whole